What is up guys, this is FM Sway. Um, I know I haven't been really putting any content on my YouTube channel lately, nor have I been streaming. So in order to thank you guys for continuously following me, I decided to do a small little tutorial on improving your execution and more importantly, your timing. One of the things that a lot of new players have trouble with is performing their combos, and it's usually because of two things. Number one, the biggest reason, is because their motions are terrible. Um, that's something that you can pretty much alleviate, that you can solve by going into training mode and, you know, constantly practicing, repeating and repetition over and over. And also having the inputs on, so that way you can see how bad your inputs are and correct it from there. The other thing that people seem to completely forget, or rather, completely neglect, is their timing. Timing is really, really important in trying to have muscle memory because, well, that's how your muscles are going to remember things. People tend to eyeball their combos and try to remember it that way, and I don't really, really, I don't necessarily recommend that. Muscle memory is the most important thing, and timing is heavily underestimated when it comes to your execution, which is why when I see people talk about, oh, you know, how Marvel is pretty bad when it comes to execution because, you know, there's not that many motions. That's not necessarily what uh, high execution means for Marvel. It means more about your timing. So for the King of Fighters, I'm going to be teaching you how to do your timing, and there's one particular character that I want to use, and that is King. King is usually the character that I always try to recommend to newer, newer players because she teaches you pretty much a good amount of basics on the game. There's other characters like Ryo, um, who else? Robert. You know, those types of characters, but King teaches you something that's really, really important in the game, and that is movement. Obviously, she has freedom of movement, she can do a lot of fireballs, but I mean, obviously, she has her own offense, but she teaches you how to move around, how to use the space. That's why I really recommend King as a beginner character. Now, that being said, how to improve your execution, or more importantly, your timing. We're going to be using her BNB, which is this. That's her BNB. Now, that's the most basic combo that you can learn with King. But one of the problems that I see with a lot, with a lot of newer players who I teach is, you know, that they always never seem to completely get this combo, and I'm always wondering why. So I usually sit down with them and I ask them to turn on the inputs and show me how you do it. And this is usually what happens. What happened? Well, I mean, the inputs aren't so bad. Obviously, I used to have to go forward instead of, of course, I go forward as you do the, the, the fireball. But aside from that, all the buttons were used. See that? Because the combo is crouching LK, crouching LK, standing LK, down forward HK. So, what's the problem? Why did that miss? Well, I mean, you hit the buttons, right? but your rhythm is completely off, the timing is off. And usually the advice that you know other players give is you're doing it too slow or you're doing it too fast. And I don't really like that explanation because it doesn't really teach you anything about the game. It doesn't really teach you anything about execution. Some parts are going to be slow, some parts are going to be fast. It's not going to be too slow the entire way through, nor is it going to be too fast the entire way through. So, how do you alleviate that? Well, you need to find the combo's rhythm. Yeah, there's, there's always a particular beat for every combo that you have that you're going to learn. And what that does is that it helps it helps your muscle memory. You know, it helps you consistently start to do combos once you figure out the beat. And then that also add, helps, uh, you know, ingrain the combo into your muscle memory. So, how does that work for K? Well, obviously I touched this, this combo. So let's uh, let's let's find the beat for this combo. Now, just for simplicity's sake, I'm not even going to do the fireball. I'm going to do the first four things. That thing. So what's the beat? Well, the beat's this. One two, one two. What's that even mean? One two, one two. Well, that's the beat. Follow. Listen to my button. Did you hear it? Let me say it while I'm doing it. One, two, one, two. 
I divide it into two different types of beats, two rhythms, one two, and then one two. Oops. There you go, one two, and then I, I actually, and then I combined it together into a full rhythm, one two one. Oops, one two one two. Simple, right? That's pretty much the basis of all combos you know, learn when it comes to your timing. Trying to find a rhythm into each and every combo makes it much more simple for you to understand how the combo works and also, you know, for particular things that require, you know, positioning and whatnot. So that's pretty much it for a combo. And then you're going to add the fireball, right? So it's going to be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 instead of 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. That combo, right? <laughs> and once I knew on that combo. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Ah! One, two, one, two, three. All right. There we go. And then you could add more things, you know, especially her corner combo, which I think is. Oh, yeah. So that would be one, two, one, two, three again. Instead of, but instead of the fireball, you do the hurricane, uh, the tornado kick. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One. One, one, one. Oops, that's level two. Sorry, guys. All right. So now you figure it out how to do king. Let's do another type of example. And this is gonna. I'm gonna consider this as a tutorial for this certain character, at least for learning his HD combo. That's gonna be regular kill, flame kill, 95 kill, whatever the hell you want to call this kill. All right. Let's see, what combo can I do? Okay, I'm gonna do the corner to corner combo. First, let me demonstrate it for you. Hopefully I can do it because usually I don't necessarily get it the first time. And that's something that I have to learn myself. I'm gonna do dash, so that way you can push me all the way to the corner. Let me see if I can do this. Alright, so you saw me do that whole combo. I think I kind of messed up on, on something. Let me do it again one more time. Oops. That's a real damage? There it is, 746. I know I messed up somewhere. Alright, so how do you start this combo? Well, you're going to follow the same thing that I taught you before. Find the beat, the rhythm of this combo. And I'm going to teach you it step by step. And then in between, I'm going to, I'm going to pause this video and allow you to catch up by doing it yourself, and then we can continue from there. So we're going to do the first few parts of this combo, and then we'll see from there. The first thing that I did was standing C to down forward HK, down forward D, pretty much. And then from there, I did an HD cancel. Now, one of the things I want to teach people also is that you have to remember to put the stick in neutral when you actually activate the HD, especially if you're looking for the character to slide. Why? Well, because the slide is faster than pressing forward. If you press forward while doing this, you see that he moved forward, and it actually messes up the timing. But if you kept it up as neutral, he moves faster. But anyways, let's save that for another time. The beat here that I want you to learn first is 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two. same thing as King. Now listen to my beat. That combo, 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two. that corresponds to the buttons that I've just pressed. Not necessarily the hits, but the buttons I pressed. One more time. Alright. So then after that, right, when I, had, when I had HD activated, I did standing D into CD DP. Into CDP. Oops. That version. Right? So, you're gonna add another beat to that. One, two, one, two, three. That's a little bit too far, so I'm gonna do it again. Oops. Ah, that's the one I messed up on. There it is. Let me do that beat one more time. 
one, two, one, two, three. Alright, so now I added that into the combo. One, two, one, two, three. So I did standing C, down forward D, HD cancel, which cancels a button. I did standing D, then CDP. C version of the Dragon Punch. Now I had one more thing to add, which is. Oops. You, do, you HD cancel the DP into the up kicks. Alright, so that's gonna be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, oops, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Listen to it again, I'm not gonna say anything. And put the beat in your head. Oops. One more time. One more time. Eh, I kinda screwed up the timing because it didn't combo. Heard that? One, two, one, two, three, four. That's the rhythm. So what I want to do right here is to pause this video and I want you to actually practice that particular part of the combo before we move in. This one's really really important because this starts the combo, starts the rhythm. And then from there I think I have this belief that after you do the beginning of the beginning of the combo, it becomes simpler in the middle and to the end. So I'm going to pause this video. I want you to pause this video, practice it. It doesn't really necessarily matter which side that you practice it in, but I do emphasize that you practice it on both sides eventually. But practice it on one particular side, and then after that, come back here, unpause the video, play it again, and then we'll work from there. Of course, I'm not going to stay here and wait for you. So. By now, you should probably be here already on pause. You probably already did the combo. Congratulations. Awesome. All right, let's continue here. So I already did one, two, one, two, three, four. Now there's two more beats that I want you to do. One, two, one, two, three, four. Next is one, two. That's pretty much doing HK into uh, reverse DP, um, half circle back HK, reverse DP, LK or half circle back D, reverse dragon punch B. Listen to it again. Okay, cool. Then we're gonna do another one, which is this. Oops, messed it up. How many buttons did you hear there? On the next one, after the one, two. One, two, three. That's right. One, two. Oops. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. From there. So what I did there was I did DP into half circle back uh, HK into reverse DP B. So this one. I suggest you practice that first before you even continue this combo. DP, half circle back, reverse DP. Okay. Once you get that down, now you're going to add that into your combo. That's a that's three beats. So the, now the combo is going to be one two, one two three four, one two, one two three. Oops. Ah. Heard that? One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. All right, good. That's actually pretty much the hard part. Now the next part, actually, now the next part is a little bit difficult, not necessarily because of the timing, but necessarily because of the motions. You're gonna be doing. That is a DP into a reverse DP, and that one requires a lot of practice. That. That one I suggest that you practice for a little bit before you get used to it. And from there, you're going to add that. That's only two beats this time around, so one, two at the end. Now it's one, two, 
One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Oops. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. You see how I separated it into segments? And then I just complete I just pretty much added it up. It makes it easier for me to remember this. But more importantly, it makes it easier for my muscles to remember this. My muscle memory to remember this combo on a, on a more consistent basis. See that? That's what I'm trying to talk about. And from there, you do... Oops, well, I missed it. You're gonna do the full combo after that, because the next one after that is just gonna be simply... DP into Chorus of Before, into Neomax. Alright, so, that's just another one, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One two, one two, one two. One two. Oops. One two. One two. Oops. Too, too late. One two. One two three four. One two. One two three four. Ah, okay, that's another one. One two. One two. Oops. See, my head messed up there. One two. One two three four. Get combo. You have to make sure it combos, guys. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Oops. Oh, well. I messed up the button. <laughs> Let me do it one more time. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Nope. Didn't combo. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. Ah. Combo again. There it is. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Ball. So, again, I'm going to do it one more time. Hopefully for my pride, but mostly because I want you to show, hear the rhythm. Remember, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. Remember that. Now listen to my buttons. I'm not even gonna say anything. All right. That's the combo. That's Kyo's combo. So, if you guys have already figured it out or you already did the combo with me, get up, give yourself a round of applause. Because welcome to the King of Fighters 13. Everything in this game has some sort of rhythm to it. Whether it's your movement, your opponent's movement, your combos, anything. There's always a rhythm to remember in King of Fighters. I hope this will help you be more consistent in your combos. Helps you find a timing in not just the King of Fighters, but in other fighting games that you enjoy. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Long live KOF. Long live the, the fighting game community, etc, etc, etc. Let's get hype. Peace!